Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm just going to take you through a, a quick um, tutorial on how to customize your game in Medieval Dynasty. A lot of people have been asking about the customization of your game. With Medieval Dynasty, you can customize your game to have it as easy as easy peasy, where you don't even die, don't need to look for water. Do as hard as you like, um, where it takes you a lot longer to do everything and you need a lot more money to pay the taxes and all the rest of it. Well, I'm going to go through the customization menu and show you how it all works so that you can customize the game to however you want to play it. All right, so this is what, what you change and what you do in the customization menu will all depend on how you want to play the game. Okay, so let's get started. We've got to go into a new game. And we go to here instead of go to customize game. All right. Now here is where all the levels start. It the def, these are on default settings. All right. So you can have it as easy. You can have it normal, hard, or custom. Right. It's up to you what way you want to do it. And that has all preset settings for that. But you can also change those as we go. And here you can actually change the number of days per season. You can have as little as one and you can have as much as 30 days per season. All right. So you can change that to however you want to play the game. And then the taxes. The taxes are very important because you have to pay taxes for every building that you have. Not paying taxes could lead you to losing your dynasty reputation and that banished from the banished from the valley you end that ends your game so you need to go and pay your taxes taxes so you need to do that and you can have your taxes where it sits at 50 percent on easy normal i think it's a hundred percent um but you can have it right up to a thousand percent depends on how hard you want the game to be or how easy you want the game to be same goes for the building limits. It suggested that you leave it on the default value, which is 100%. I don't think you can go any lower than that to make it easier on easy. It's it's set there. Um, but you can make it harder if you want to actually make it harder to earn the points to get the building limits up. So you can do that as well. All right. You can If you don't want events in the game, you don't want to be part of the events or anything, you can disable them here um, by unticking the box, right? So you can either have events or not have events. It's up to you. All right, now we're getting into the nitty gritty. The unlimited HP, if you tick this box, then you will not die from any source. So you can play the game without dying, without losing stamina, without getting hungry or water and all that sort of thing as well. You just don't die from animals attacking you or anything. Okay, unlimited HP. You can, um, that's that one. Okay, then we go down here to the unlimited stamina. The stamina is used when you're running or, or sprinting or whatever in the game. It actually uses stamina and you get very tired and then you go very, very slow. Well, by checking this box here, you get unlimited stamina so that does not apply to you during the game okay so you don't get that tiredness um then we have lack of hunger if you tick this box you will not need to worry about food for yourself but if if this is the only box one of the boxes that you tick then you will still need to supply food and water food for your people but you don't have to worry about food for yourself okay and that goes the same with the water you tick it and you will not have to worry about water for yourself okay unlimited carry weight well as it stands in the game with with this unchecked you have a limit to how much you can carry and logs and things weigh a lot <laughs> and you're always having to stop and empty it and all the rest of it so if you tick this box you have unlimited carry weight so you don't have to worry about your pockets being full so to speak okay um then we have this this 
box, this slider here, you can move it up or down. And that is actually depends on how much food your people in your town need each hour. Okay, so you can make it little or you can make it more depending on how you want to play. That goes same for the for the water because you have to supply food, water and wood. Okay, you have to supply the food, the water and wood for all the people that you have in your town. So you can make these lower or you can make them higher depending on how hard you want the game to be. All right, now we also go down to the bandits. If you don't want to encounter bandits in the game, then to uncheck it, okay? And you won't get any bandits in the game. If it is checked, I think it's about after the first year, you will randomly get bandits appear when you're traveling around, okay? So that's up to you. Um, now the bandits, you can change their uh, HP by moving this slider is the amount the bandits have. It determines how much damage you need to do to kill them. All right. You can make it less or you can make it harder. And that goes with the de The bandits damage one is for how much damage they do to you. So you can adjust that lower or higher depending on what you want. Okay. And the animal HP one is the same. It determines how much damage you need to kill the animal. Okay. And how much damage they need to do to kill you with the animal's damage. All right. So you need to, adjust. you know, it depends on how you want to play your game as to how much you will adjust that up or down. You can go up to a thousand percent. All right. Poisoning. Now, if you have this unchecked, you will not get poisoned. All right. You can't get poisoned by eating rotten food or toxic types of mushrooms. If you check it, you can get poisoned. Okay. Now, the temperature as well, that is mainly, mainly I find the temperature is for winter time because um, if you uncheck it, it won't affect you. Okay, the temperature in game will not affect you. If it is checked, well, then the temperature in the winter time, it's freezing and you have to be able to keep warm and, and that sort of thing. So you have to um, accommodate for that. Right, now this is a good one. It's fast crafting. Instead of being able to craft one thing at a time, you can craft as much um, as, as you like, depending on how much... Um, things that you have to do that to craft that item how much supplies you have to craft that item so fast crafting is a good one uh that's it speeds up your crafting very good and it's the same with the building instead of hitting one wall seven times with the hammer depending on how many say stones you need to fill that wall you can do it with one hit as long as you have all the supplies in your pocket okay so those two are a very good addition. The XP gain multiplier. Right, this is to do with um, the XP you're gaining from doing specific skills, okay? Um, so you can have that down smaller to, to get the XP, you know, less XP to actually, or more XP while you're playing, or bigger to make it less XP, all right? So that's how much XP you want to gain by doing the chores that you do, like the wood cutting and the hunting and all that sort of thing to get your, your skill levels. All right, that's the same with the technology because um, that gives you technology points for you to actually craft up, cra um, by crafting schemes to be able to make stuff. So it depends on how you want the game, whether you want it to be really simple and easy or whether you want it to be a little bit harder on whether you adjust these to suit you the dynasty reputa reputation now dynasty reputation is quite important because you need to build your reputation up so that villagers will want to come and stay come and, and work for you and live in your town if your reputation is not high enough they'll say no um all right so you can adjust that lower or smaller 
or, or higher, depending on how you want to play. If you want to play, I, I mean, like I do, I play very easy right at the very beginning when I start a game. Very, very easy. Once I get used to it, then I adjust it to make it a little harder. All right. You can also, the, the bottom one here, you can actually, if you have this checked, if you drop an item on the ground, like food, it will not spoil. Okay. But it does not affect the stuff in the chest. The, the stuff that's stored in the chest will still spoil after time. But this is if you, st if it will get spoiled at, at the change of seasons if you drop it on the ground. Okay. So that's if you check that, it'll stop that from happening. All right. It'll stop that from happening if you drop it on the ground. Now I'm going to show you the must in my opinion the must change um ones to adjust i always adjust the difficulty to easy all right um the next one i adjust is i always check unlimited stamina and unlimited carry weight these in my opinion are must-haves <laughs> for the game for my game all right and fast crafting and I'll click it and fast building. All right, they are the ones that I change for my game. I don't change anything else. I basically leave it as it is. But like I said, it's up to you on how you want to play the game. It will make it easier and or it will make it harder. Depends on how good you are at playing games. Well, I hope that's helped you out. Thank you all for joining me. Please leave a like. And subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any comments, tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. Um, if you want to see something else, let me know. And I'll be happy to do that for you too. So take care, everybody. And see you next time. Bye-bye for now.